guys, our hotel was charging $2 for a 12 ounce bottle of water. So we Uber Eats a six liter bottle of water for $4. Winning. There's a cool square out of our window. Listen, it's my fault for not keeping up with my Spanish since high school. So I attempted to order a coffee. I got two, that's fine. And they only take US cash here. So this is about $2.40-ish. We got two coffees and also a extremely large croissant. And we're gonna head to the Panama Canal Museum. Also, we got a SIM card. Well, Matt got a SIM card and it only cost $7.25. And at the airport, they were charging $30 for a SIM card for one week. So don't get it at the airport. <laughs> This is the best croissant I've ever had in my entire life. Sorry, France. We made it to the Panama Canal Museum and the cost for foreigners is $15 a ticket. We low-key finesse the system because you get 50% off if you're a student and technically I've been accepted to a law school but I haven't started but it worked. So we got 50% off one ticket and our total was $22.50. This is actually a really nice museum. I'm very impressed. We learned quite a bit about the Panama Canal. It was once an unincorporated territory of the United States, which is pretty interesting. France had attempted to build a canal connecting the Pacific and the Atlantic Ocean before the United States did, and they couldn't get it done because they tried to connect them at sea level, and then using the groundwork that France had already laid, US engineers came in and built the lock system that exists today. And we also learned a ton of people died. I really had no idea. Total, over 45,000 people died building the Panama Canal due to like uh, rock slides, bad weather, mosquito-borne illnesses, and dynamite injuries. My job sucks. <laughs> I'm getting paid in silver.
giving anybody else St. Augustine vibes. Alright guys, we are really loving the vibe of Casco Viejo and that's where we've been exploring today. We're staying in Casco Viejo so we've just been walking around. The museum was a really informative and good experience. It was a really well laid out and well organized museum and you should definitely visit to learn more about the canal and the construction and the history. Casco Viejo is the old quarter or old city and there's a lot of colonial architecture which is beautiful as you've seen. And for now, I think we're going to grab lunch, but we're going to grab some traditional Panamanian food. And we found one restaurant that serves that type of food, and it's rather expensive. But Casco Viejo is just rather expensive. Yeah. So. It's kind of like a place that all the tourists come just because it's so beautiful. So it's just, I think, tourist prices, to be honest. Okay, guys. So we have some traditional Panamanian dishes, and I got filet con carne basically it's chicken and pepper sauce rice and beans and plantains i got guacho de rabito con carne which is basically pork We are in the France Square and I just got some shaved ice that was literally shaved off of a big block of ice. So we're gonna try it out. He put some weird white stuff on top. I think it's condensed milk. <laughs> it is. It's kind of weird condensed milk with grape, but I feel like once I get rid of the condensed milk part, it's gonna be really good. That bridge is the entrance to the Panama Canal. And over here, you can see a ship that just came out of the Panama Canal. Pretty cool. It's pretty far away from us though. All of those cargo ships out there. Having a coffee in this cute coffee shop with a cute boy. And I'm feeling super sluggish after lunch. That was a lot of food. So I got coffee. Alright guys, we are back in our Airbnb with the cool murals in the back. We had a pretty chill day today, honestly. We basically just did our own walking tour of Casco Viejo and went to the Panama Canal Museum that's located here. We actually really love this town. It's super chill and relaxing. We had a nice big lunch, and then we kind of got sluggish and tired, and then we went over to the France Square after. Just really enjoyed the slow life in Casco Viejo. So we're gonna go to bed now. We have some fun things planned for tomorrow. So we will see you tomorrow morning. Patty just stepped in dog poop. <laughs> You cannot have a laugh attack. Okay. <laughs>
too no far. No museum. Why? Because it's insensitive. <laughs> You're the one laughing. Stop laughing. The Washington Monument. <laughs> 